Especially in our, our life, this where we face such persecution over the salvation of children. And because we affirm that God's grace and power is sufficient and effective to anoint children at any age, even if they're the age of John who received the Holy Ghost as an infant, we say that Jesus, when he began the gospel, he began to let you know that I'm going to pour out my spirit on your sons and your daughters, and that ain't respective of no age. So when we say we want to keep kids off the street, it means something in this hour. And I just want to praise God for amen, the wonderful work. Some of our enemies want us to put a sign on the door that says salvation for children seven and up. Others say ten and up. But glory to God, we're going to tear that down and we'll put a sign up on the door that says whosoever wish let him come glory to God for the promise is unto you and to your children bring the baby bring the infant bring your time up all the past you can see all will partake of the spiritual trick they will all eat of that spiritual meat and they'll drink of the rock and that rock that followed them was Christ. Every age. Oh, bless your name, Jesus. We were in the room um, praying before we got ready to go to bed. And um, after I prayed over them, she said, Mommy, can we get down on the floor and pray? So I said, yeah, we can get down on the floor and pray. So we got down on the floor and I prayed over them again. Um, and I got up and um, she just kept praying. So I was like, okay. So then I heard her start saying, Jesus. All right. All right. Okay. And then she just started saying, hallelujah, Jesus. There are parents out there whose children's lives are in the balance and we are come today to save that which is lost glory so she started saying hallelujah and um so i text my sister i was like god in your house and she in her prayer and it's for real it's the real thing and i went and got a daddy i told him And when we tell these testimonies, the response of unbelieving believers, the response of unbelieving believers is that, well, God can do anything. My response is no. This is what God does. God saves children. God anoints children. God redeems children. God brings children from under the power of sin and death into the kingdom of his dear son. It's not that he will do anything. This is what he does. And there's been a wall of unbelief that God has risen 
raising up prophets in the north and the south to break it down. He's risen up sanctuaries to declare that God to the utmost will save all that come near and draw nigh unto him. If we believe the witness of man, the witness of God is greater. So we say, save yourselves from this untoward generation. Amen. Glory to God. And believe all that the prophets have said. Glory to God. Are we right? Amen. Glory to God. Because he said, when I see the blood, I will pass. Let me see that, brother. Let me see that. Brother, in Egypt, Egypt was a revelation, amen, of the end of the world, amen, because Egypt was a type of the world, amen, Pharaoh was a type of the Antichrist, and Moses was a type of Jesus. How do we know? But Moses said, a prophet like unto me shall the Lord God raise up, who did he raise up? Jesus from the grave, he would raise him up unto him, shall you hear? So here comes Moses, and he says, I want each and every one of you to take a lamb and kill it. And every household had to kill it according to the number of souls. And he said, I want you to take the blood and I want you to apply it on the two sides, post and on the lintel. And the blood wasn't for the parents. The blood was to save the children. And he said, when I see the, the innocence of your baby won't save it. Glory to God, the purity of your child won't save her. They must receive the blood. He says, when I see the blood, I will pass over you. And he said, when your children will grow up and say, what meaneth this? Glory be to God. You'll tell them that this was the Lord's Passover. This is how the Lord saved you. I'm saying to you, I'm going to put an infant in water. But one day that infant is going to say, Daddy, what meaneth this? Glory to God, you're going to say, of a child, I planted you into Jesus Christ. Of an infant, I saved you. They read the prophets, but then disbelieve him. Yochebed saved her son from the destruction of Pharaoh. How does she do it? She made her ark. My God, hallelujah, hallelujah. The Holy Ghost came on her, and she saw the pattern of, Moses, of Noah, and she said, oh, Noah built the ark to save them by water. Built the ark, put the baby in the ark, and then what did she do? She put the ark in the water. What am I saying to you? If you want to save your children, you better get them in the ark. Who's the ark? Jesus. How do you get Jesus? You got to go in the water. Whatsoever things were written aforetime, they were written for our learning. That we through patience, and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. My God, when I read the scriptures, I got hope that the promises to me and to my children. To so many other words, we exhort and testify. And we tell you, save yourselves from this untoward generation. Amen. Come on and clap your hands, all you people. I'm going to get back to you, elderly.